Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back once again to our Facebook Live. My name's Mark Love, and we have a beautiful sunny December morning. This is my last video of the year, so I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you're all surviving 2020. And I'd especially like to thank those of you that have uh, viewed in and kind of follow me. I think I'm up to double digits now, and I am pretty proud of that. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk to you about a real gem of a used unit. The unit today has a stock number of 5U201465. And uh, what we have here is a 2017 Airstream Interstate Grand Tour model. And I didn't realize how special this unit is until I, until I started prepping for this video. Uh, first of all, there is just shy of 20,000 miles on this. So very low mileage unit. And the things that I'll talk about first are the common things for the Sprinter chassis. Of course, this is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, uh, 24 feet long. It has the uh, V6 3 liter turbo diesel engine with 188 horsepower, uh, 325 foot-pounds of torque. That's common for pretty much all of these Sprinters, and every manufacturer builds on them. Uh, Airstream kind of has a little bit of a cult following. They do some things differently. And there's a reason Airstream is regarded as maybe one of the higher end, maybe one of the elites, especially in these touring models. And as we walk around, I'm going to point that out to you right now. So uh, let's move over here to the, to the driver's side. I want to open up a few of these compartments and uh, just point out what Airstream does that's a little bit different. Now, first of all, down in this compartment, if you notice, we have our, our uh, water attachment here. And there is a valve on here, really nice heavy-duty brass. And you also have a macerator. That is the pump for your black tank. Now, what's unique about these, most of the other sprinters that have them, there's a long compartment on the bottom. The hose is just kind of curled up on there. This is on a power hose. And you can see in this compartment right here, uh, this is where we release or retract our, uh, our hose for the macerator. You can turn your pump on right here. You have some service lights, but you also have electronic dump valves. So you're not down there trying to pull those valves out. It's all electric. Very high end, very, very few of the companies do this. And you really gotta give, uh, give Airstream credit for the things they did on this unit. Uh, here, of course, this is just your, your common city water fill for your gravity tank. And then we do have in this compartment an outside shower that you plug in. Of course, we have the winter, uh, the unit winterized right now. And as we move back, Uh, this is your, your city water if you're hooked up to a hose, a uh, six gallon water heater. Now this being a 2017, I wouldn't call it old technology, but it doesn't have the lithium ion batteries. It has a 62 gallon propane tank, which is quite large, uh, and a propane generator, which maybe you call it old school, but it's tried and true and it works every time. But one of the unique things this unit has is the VB air ride system. Now, I don't know if you can get a shot down here, Jody, but you can see one of the airbags, heavy duty airbags on the rear back there. And there are four airbags on this coach. This rides more like a diesel pusher than your typical Sprinter van. It is fully automatic, so if you're loading a, a lot of gear, you know, four sets of golf clubs and got a couple people back here, the weight isn't going to weigh it down. It is automatically going to level for you. 
as you're driving down the road and you hit those potholes and the bumps, it's not going to jar you as much. With the tuned uh, shocks, the air ride, and there is a stabilizer bar back here also, so you're not going to get the rolling and, and the shifting of gear inside when you go around those corners. Just a great feature, and I got to say, this is the only Sprinter that I have shown that's had this air ride system. It's put on by Winnebago at the factory, and it is actually factory approved by Mercedes. Such a unique feature, uh, I just got to point that out to you. All right, let's come on around here and take a look in the back. Now, first of all, one thing I like about these doors, you can release them and open them up all the way. And another unique feature is the screens on this. So I have my little remote right here. I'm going to pop that up. Now, you might like to lay here at night out in the desert, keep the doors open, have all the screens down, listen to the coyotes howl, and have all the critters come up begging for food. This is such a nice unit. The screens on this are better than any other coach I've seen before. And for a 2017 with, like I say, about 19,900 miles, this is just a gem of a used coach. Uh, if you look back here, each side has a little LED light. You have 110 power outlets on both sides. And this is a marine grade laminate flooring. And it's a great looking floor. I've kind of tucked the, uh, the power cord under here for now. But, uh, you know, again, this is unique. You don't see this in a lot of coaches. This particular floor plan has the two single beds. Uh, they also make a model with the couch across, which is a little more traditional that, that electrically will fold down into your queen bed. This model, although you, you don't have a system that you can pull these together and make one bed, I actually like this. Uh, it's simple, it's practical, it is so well built, and you know sometimes it's easier to walk in the middle to get into the bed than have to climb over somebody. So again, I really like that, and just to show you how I'm going to sleep at night. I'm going to have my camera ready and take pictures of those uh, bears and lions as they come up to say hi. And once again, all electric on that screen door. Very well built. You just, you just can't top it. Okay, moving around over here, uh, first thing I want to point out is your awning. And the awning buttons to bring that out are right here under this sink. So I'm going to put my awning out. This is a 13 foot awning with a motion sensor on it. So if you start to get a lot of wind and it starts uh, bouncing, it's going to close on its own. While that's opening, I'll point out this does have the auto step when you open the door here. And of course, once I'm where I'm going, I'm going to shut that step off. And now it's not going to run in and out. It's not taking power off your uh, chassis batteries there. Now again, let's get back to the screen doors. Check this out. That is a great door. You're not messing, you know, with zipping things down and rolling them up. Uh, when you open it up, and it's got a nice secure latch there, gives you plenty of room to get in and out, completely seals it from the bugs. Of all of the Sprinter units I've seen, I like these screens the best. Well, let's go inside and talk about this coach a little bit. I'm going to... Uh, first of all, I turned this seat around to demonstrate the table here. Uh, those of you that have followed me uh, know I do a lot of photography. Uh, you know. Um, nature and landscape photography in particular. And the first thing a photographer does when he gets back, 
he wants to get that camera out. He wants to see what he has. He might want to get into Lightroom or Photoshop and manipulate the photos before he puts them online. And I've got a spot right here. I can actually plug into this TV and have a bigger screen to watch it. So if you're sitting here by yourself, this is a great place. Maybe you just want to make your dinner and sit here without putting the table up. But if you do want to, let me drop this down. If you do want to put a table up, you have one right here. This seat also pivots around. You have a pedestal table here. Uh, there is another pedestal uh, mount in the back between the beds that you could set this table up. And check this out. This is Corian. This isn't some, you know, low grade solid surface uh, uh, countertop. This is true Corian. So there is quality built into this coach throughout. The seats are a very plush leather seat. Now I've always liked driving the Sprinter chassis. Uh, ergonomically they're very comfortable you can sit behind the wheel for a long time and not you know get cramped up so uh, again for a 2017 a four-year-old coach now just in great shape here also of course you have a TV this TV will pull out you know and you can tip it this way you can lean it toward the back I I'm not gonna do that right now but one of the things I'm gonna do is fire up my generator so right here and I've had it running, so should fire right up. And maybe you can close the door as you come in, and, and uh, we won't hear that so much. I just wanted to point out a few things while we're in here. First of all, these are your monitors. You can see we're getting low on our, on our propane. So if the generator runs out or stops working, it's not the generator's fault. We're just out of propane. Uh, you have your, your batteries here, your main, and your... How's that still? Uh, there you go. The generator just kicked in, fired all this up. You have your water heater. There is a gas and electric. And again, the six gallon propane. Um, a lot of new units are using the Truma system or more of an on demand. But this has been around forever with both elements on. If, if two people wanted to shower back to back, it recovers very quickly. And you do have a 26 gallon, or actually a 31 gallon fresh water tank, which is larger than you're going to find again in most of these sprinters. Uh, and then your inverter and so forth, all right here, pretty standard stuff, but I like the way uh, it's all right here, handy to get to. You can see we're charging now. If I'm going to uh, maybe make coffee and not fire up my generator, I can turn my inverter on here. Uh, I do have the auto gen start and so forth, so everything right here. Uh, another thing about these cabinets, they have the the uh, positive latching system, they call it. Um, up here, we've got a little storage system, and I like the fact they have an LED strip light up there. So for your DVDs and entertainment system and so forth, it's all right there on uh, this side here. Well, let me get it this way. You can see we have all of our owner's manuals, both for Winnebago and the Sprinter. You might be hearing a little whir as that generator kicks on and the electronics starts to, to kick in. You'll hear that a little bit. Okay, uh, let's move back here. Before I, I uh, go through the cabinets here, I wanted to point out this has got some really nice uh, lighting up here. So at night, maybe you don't want all your lights on. Maybe you're just gonna, you know, do a little mood lighting. So really nice lighting there. Here I can turn on my ceiling lights. Ceiling lights here. And then watch this. There is a dimmer. I can turn these all the way down or out if I want. So again, very high-end uh, LED lighting here. Beautiful Corian countertop. You have the, the nice... Uh, stainless steel sink here. Over here we have a two burner propane stove. And again, since we're not using induction, we don't have the lithium ion batteries, you, you know, there's not as much drain on your 12 volt system. And that's one of the things I like about this. You get two good six volt AGM batteries and you got a lot of power. You can kick that generator on for a half an hour and almost completely charge them up. Great counter space here. Uh, 
Well, that's just a little uh, storage area there uh, under your sink. Get a shot of this right here. If anybody can tell me what this little stem is for during this video, I will send you a TransWest hat. It's got a very unique purpose. Uh, you ladies might get it before the men do. Okay. Now, the store has got your built-in trash, which is really nice. You also have a, a paper towel rack. You get a lot of drawers here. So I think there's actually seven drawers all together. And if you look at how deep some of these are, I mean, this is impressive. A nice uh, silverware tray. You know, you've got your remotes here. And again, I'll put put my little remote back that I'm opening up the uh, awning or the screens with. This is our microwave, and one of the reasons I wanted our, our 110 power on with the generator is to demonstrate it. This is a continuum, uh, I believe is the brand, microwave, <laughs> one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. And that is all electric. Uh, uh, Contour, excuse me, is the brand name on this. And that will be a convection microwave. And again, a couple of nice storage drawers. And these bottom ones are quite deep. So for your pots and pans or your heavier, heavier items that you're putting down here, you have plenty of room. Now, you know, this is, like I said, a 24-foot van. It's called a Turing Coach. And... Uh, you know what a Turing coach is, you, you think of maybe going from point A to point B, you know, going out to the East Coast to visit your kids in college. You might spend a night or two on the road. You don't think of it as something to spend long time, in, uh, you know, a week or two or going to uh, the Southwest for the winter. But there's actually more storage in, in these units than people give you credit for. If you look at all of these compartments on this side, there's four of them and two of them here. So that alone is quite a bit of storage. But one of the things I, I like to point out in these sprinters, and this is common in a lot of the sprinters, is your rear compartment. Get a shot here, Jody, of how far back this goes. This goes all the way across from front to rear. You could put a suitcase in there, maybe a couple of them. Uh, one of our reps years ago that uh, he actually worked for a road track and he traveled in one of these with his family. He said they could get all their clothes in here. They just packed it like it was a dresser. So there is plenty of room. Now, you know, I noticed the pillows were in here when I started looking around. So I'm going to go ahead and put them back in here and show you a, a little bit what's under these beds and again this LED light comes on when you open and close it so I talked about this being a twin bed setup instead of the uh, the uh, couch across the back some of the benefits again going back to my lifestyle when I'm out taking pictures my tripod is set up, ready to go. The camera's left on it. I've got room to put it right here. Hop out quickly, open that back door, and uh, you know, get it out without having to uh, set things up. Where did my remote go? There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and open this screen up. So you can see how that works. And underneath here, it's not really so much storage, but uh, first of all, on this side, You've got your main battery disconnect. If you don't know where it is, you might look for that for a while. You've got your uh, inverter, your fuses, your water heater, everything conveniently located right here. And uh, actually there's a, a prop, it's under where I'm sitting. If you were to move this mattress over here, you could hold this top up. But also, look at the construction here. This is real plywood. This isn't wafer board or anything cheap. It is, you know, solidly built, well designed, and again, somewhat simple. And while I'm thinking about it, getting back to these cabinets, 
These are all solid wood cabinets, but they actually import this veneer from Italy. It's Italian, you know it's got to be good. Uh, just a beautiful finish on it. Then, of course, over on this side, like I say, if I were to move that mattress, I could prop this up with this stick. But, uh, you know, you've got your fender wells there, some of the electronics. You do have a surround uh, sound system. Here is your subwoofer for that unit. And I suppose if somebody was clever, you could figure a way to put a board across here and fill it in with uh, some foam and make one large bed. But these are really nice mattresses, very firm. Uh, let me see. Let's get back to some of the gadgetry here. This has electronic shades. Here's your control pad. So let's say I want to drop all the sunscreens. I can bring them back right there. I was dropping all of them. At nighttime, I want all of my blackout shades down. And by the way, you do have a curtain that goes across the front behind the seats. So you could completely seal this off, uh, make it nice and dark. But again, I, I would probably have those doors open and this screen down. So I'm going to go ahead and open all these up. Oops, got to figure out which button I'm using here. And then, uh, there we go. But again, very unique. You don't find this in very many of your Sprinter vans, your Touring vans. If you do, it's an extremely high-end unit, like the old Chinooks and the, the $200,000 and up units would have stuff like that. This unit actually has an option for a four-wheel drive. However, we don't have a four-wheel drive in it. Um, with that air ride suspension, you do get a little bit more clearance. Let's go ahead and take a look at the galley here. Now, the light switch for that's right here. And you can see your faucet. If you're going to take a shower, you'd simply pull it out and put it up on top. move back up here a little bit more and show you this refrigerator. This is big for a Class B. Look at the room you've got there. I mean, I could see being able to, to be out in the desert for a week or more without having to carry an extra cooler with the uh, 31 or 32 gallon freshwater tank as long as, you know, you don't mind shower, not showering every day. You probably can make it through. You do have some more storage here. Oops. You can see you've got a place to hang clothes up there, or you could put more shelves in here. Uh, like I say, with that rear compartment, you can use that for a dresser and probably get all your clothes in there. And then this is just extra pantry or storage space or place for my uh, camera equipment. Uh, while I'm up here, I, I forgot to point this out earlier. I meant to. This is our VB air, uh, air ride system. And the neat thing about this is when you're parked, you can actually level this somewhat front to back. So if you're not on you know, level ground, you can adjust that with your air ride system alone. Again, this VB uh, air suspension is factory installed by Airstream and it is approved by Mercedes, so you know other aftermarket uh, air ride or lift kits might void or do something to the warranty. This one does not. So, 
well, when I finish, I, I always think of something I forgot, but I guess that's it for now. I would like to thank everybody that's tuned in this year, not only to me, but to all of the salespeople from Trans West. Uh, we thank you for your patronage and you know your comments. Uh, has anybody figured out what my little uh, quiz was about? This stem right here is to put your wedding ring on or any rings when you're doing your dishes <laughs> so you don't lose it. <laughs> Brilliant. Nobody commented. Yeah, stumped y'all. <laughs> uh, once again, my name's Mark Love with TransWest RV. This is my contact info. And if you want a great deal on a beautiful used Sprinter coach, this is it. Less than 20,000 miles, all of the bells and whistles. I don't think you could go wrong. So please reach out to me if you have any questions. And like always, my friends, happy trails. See you next year.